Well, the zebras have been calling, so we're going to try and stay with them as long as possible. And I have a funny feeling that these lions maybe snatched one of the young zebras because in amongst the tracks that I saw, there was a track for a very small zebra. And this zebra is calling and calling and calling. The one on the back left there, the one behind the tree, she's the one that is calling all the time. And I wonder if maybe her young one wasn't taken by the lions last night. And that's why we're hearing so much vocalizing. I've checked this whole area. There's no sign of any lions here for her to be alarm calling at. And zebras are not one. So there we go, that's them calling. And they don't do this unless either they've split in the terms of the herd or if they've got a lost young one that's around and they worried about where it could be. So that's why we're hearing the sound. I think that potentially, unfortunately, the Inkahumas may have grabbed one of these young ones last night. But we'll try and see what we can find and check around. There's tracks for these lions going up and down. see she's calling with quite a bit of vigor and it's the same female that keeps calling over and over again and look she's listening so once she's called she's now listening to see if there's a response back from whoever she's trying to find but it is a very strange sound isn't it there they go they're going off into the distance now It seems like our lion tracks have gone more west and I, I'm not going to be surprised if they've crossed into some Amelia. It sounds like they're heading straight in that direction. So, but let's just see. Maybe they've sort of stopped short, but it sounds like they have gone in that direction. But they're starting, still calling. I just want to go forward a little bit and just check. Sometimes in this long grass, you never know. There could be a lioness hiding somewhere in here. So worth just having a little look we know that also with the Inkahumas that at the moment there is the four females walking around and one that's kind of in and out because she's got this cub and so it could be one of them just lurking here as well but I I honestly think that they probably have crossed already into Sumambili or Arethusa where are you guys off to Wherever these zebra are off to, they're doing it with haste. They're not really sitting around for long periods of time. This, since we found them this morning, they've been moving quite a bit. So I just want to try and see if I can't get ahead of them a little bit. See the stallion is coming straight towards us now as well. And he also looks slightly distressed. He's kind of looking around and he'll take it as a personal sort of insult if they've lost one of the herd because he is very, very protective of his unit. He likes to make sure that everybody is safe. And look, you can see he's alert. He's looking, listening all the time. I wonder what happened last night. Sometimes you wish you could be a sort of fly on the wall and have watched what unfolded. So we, Siberia Zumi, you asking if a zebra was distress calling like it is now, wouldn't that attract more predators into the area? Well, it could do. So you could have a situation where hyenas would rock up and try and see what's going on. They would come in here and sniff around and see, okay, hang on, maybe one of these zebras is dead and we can steal that. You'll sometimes find leopard will just come and check what's going on and lions most certainly would too. The thing about this area is, is that there's only really one pride of lions and if the males are nowhere close by, then we're gonna have a situation where they're not gonna really hear it and they're not going to come in. The Inkahuma pride will have been the ones that have caused this distress and so there's no pride of lions anywhere in the nearest vicinity other than the Inkahumas that could be here so they would be the only ones that would be attracted but they were the ones that caused the sort of distress in the first place so yes it's possible but there's definitely something that's disturbing these zebras this morning Let's try and see. So, it sounds like our lines haven't crossed. 
yet, which is good. So, Daniel, who's 13 years old. Hello, Daniel. I hope you have had a very good day. You want to know if this is the McCurdy Hurdy? Well, Daniel, I'm not sure, to be honest, because the thing is, we haven't seen the McCurdy Hurdy for quite a while, and this herd is definitely smaller than what the McCurdy Hurdy was when it was here for such a long period of time. So it could be a little piece of the McCurdy Hurdy, but I don't know. The other day we had four different herds of zebra on Juma, and so it's difficult to know who is who. And f the problem with zebra as well is that while they do have individual coat patterns, we don't recognize them nearly as well as what we would with some other animals. So things like the lions and the leopards that have spot patterns, because the zebras are a little bit more common, we have a situation where we don't actually get to know them as well as what we do the leopards and so it's possible that it could be members of the McCurdy Hurdy I just don't know oh, what's this in the road oh could you I thought there was something else in the road and that's why all the zebras have stopped so they're just asking me where I am at the moment with these tracks but here are some kudus as well so it seems like all the animals are here together Oh, these zebras are very alert. Yeah, they're starting just to come through now. There we go, you can see them just moving through the thickets. trying to see if they're going to call again because it's such an amazing sound it's not one we hear very often so to hear them calling is very cool and like Ali said it's not an easy sound to make Ferg you were pretty good at it just now so Ferg seems to be able to be one where were you a zebra <laughs> ah, okay very nice Ferg so this is your brethren that are walking around at this stage and they've gone back to feeding now so whatever is distressing them it's something that they realize they can't solve right now and that they're going to go back to feeding while it's still cool this is the time that most of our prey animals will fe be feeding and so i suppose back to feeding it is but the one that's distressed is the one right in the front and she's still the one that's kind of looking over her shoulder so let's just go and see i wonder if it's not worth just backtracking these zebra and just seeing if there's not some sort of signs of a struggle somewhere because a zebra won't go lightly when it comes to lions. They'll definitely try their best to defend themselves as much as possible. So I'm just going to go forward here. So this is the one that is the most distressed, is this female that's just walking in front. And it's quite a young zebra in comparison to the others. It's smaller, much younger, so I'd imagine that this is the zebra that is potentially maybe lost her calf. because it's her that calls every single time and then the stallion responds every now and then when so when she calls then the stallion starts to recall and you'll hear the stallion is a slightly louder deeper call than what the female is and that's just because of his a little bit larger size he's going to be producing a much more sort of bass voice much like us as humans when males tend to be a little bit bigger they produce a slightly deeper voice than what the females do <laughs> 